What's up, YouTube? Hey, how's it going? Um, I was recently uh, tagged in a video uh, by D Dennis Reviews, which is a really super awesome guy. Um, and he does a lot of like uh, vlogs and talks, uh, does movie reviews and some other things. And uh, he tagged me in a horror tag, <clears throat> which um, I don't have a whole lot of horror stuff, but I do like horror. So I'm going to try to answer these questions the best I can. Um, and then I'm going to tag a few people below as well. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, there is like, uh, I'm not sure how many questions, but uh, I'm going to go over these real quick. Um, the first question is, um, how old were you when you first saw your first horror film? And I'd probably say I was... I can't really remember how old I was. I was between the ages of probably 12 and 14, maybe. Um, and the first horror movie that I actually got to see was probably because of my cousin. She watched us when we were kids, and uh, she let us watch The Exorcist, which uh, was freaking... At, at that age, was like, oh my gosh. Um, it was just raunchy to us it was kind of weird and we didn't understand it as a kid uh it, it's better to go back and look at it now and actually enjoy the film uh but that was my first horror film i ever seen and it, it, it's probably one of the most excellent ones i've seen uh that i really like um so that's my that's the first question second question is what genre what genre of horror films do you like the most I kind of like them all. Um, I, I like the slashers, but I also like the paranormal. Um, and I also kind of like like um, the end of the world type stuff as well. Um, I don't know if you can really classify those as horror, but they do, do come off with some horror stuff like that. Uh, but I think uh, one of my favorites is probably paranormal ones, um, just because really cool creature ideas that you can come up with um, that are out of the usual uh, realm of what you can do um, with a guy in a mask. Uh, so that's probably what I tend to watch more of. I'm not saying they're my, now my favorite movie's not in that genre, but that's pretty much what I watch a lot of. Um, number three is what is your all-time favorite horror film and why? Um, I really have to go with Nightmare on Elm Street, the original. Um, one of the reasons why that is, is the way it was made. Um, it was the first time that somebody really took, and it's not so much the Freddy aspect, which Freddy's always awesome. It was more of the dreams, um how they incorporated um, the dream factor into this uh, horror horror film is one of the reasons why it's my favorite. Um, it was one of, you know, it was one of the first movies I personally seen uh, horror-wise that, that incorporated dreams, and I thought that was really neat to do because everybody has nightmares. So it was, it was really awesome uh, the way they did that. Um... Number four is, who is your favorite actor? Well, um, Robert England by, by far. Um, the way he portrayed Freddy and the way he actually brought that character to life really uh, is just great. I mean, I, I don't know if you could really, um, compare him to a lot of the slasher, other slashers, you know, like Jason and Michael. I mean, there was not much to him, but... He kind of brought that Freddy to life, uh, and it made it that much scarier if you were definitely uh, scared of him when you were a kid. Uh, who is your favorite director? Wes Craven by far. Uh, I've loved all of his movies. Um, if I actually see a Wes Craven movie, I actually pick it up. I, you know, or I, rest in peace, you know, that's crazy that he just passed away like he did. So, But uh, yeah, absolutely, Wes Craven was by far my favorite. Um, what is your favorite ending of which horror film? Don't know. <laughs> um, there's a lot of awful ones.
points that I, uh, that I just don't understand. Um, but there's a lot of, I, I guess the, I'll put it to you like this. When they leave it at a cliffhanger, it always excites me. So the horror movies that end off in a cliffhanger, by far my favorite. Because you know they're going to re either do another one or they leave it at a cliffhanger. You're like, what the hell just happened? But so if I guess you could say cliffhangers, I like the, I like when they do that. Um, let's see. Which horror TV series have you watched? Um, of course, Walking Dead, by far. Um, that, um, I, I did get some of the stream and some of the uh, Night, Nightmare on Elm Streets um, that they did, but weren't really good. But Walking Dead, by far, is probably my favorite. Um, uh, let's see, which horror like comics have you read? Again, Walking Dead. Um, I don't know if you really consider um, this one horror related because it's not really horror. It's a, it was just a maybe a raunchy comic, but it was called Faust. Um, if anybody knows that comic, I used to read that all the time. Um, let's see, how many horror films do you own? I own like two right now, and here's. There's a, there's a backstory behind that. I had VHS, DVDs out the frickin' yin-yang when I was married, but again, those all got stolen, so I no longer had them. I stopped collecting them. And I'm actually just now starting to get a collection up, and I think I've only got like 15 DVDs up there. And, uh, I mean, they're actually just sitting up there, so you can see them. And uh, it's, a, it's a sorry collection right now, but... Uh, eventually I'll get back to them. Um, I mean, I, I slowly gather them up and I'd love to have, um, a lot of horror films. I'd love to have all the Critters, all the Ghoulies, all the, um, I'd love to have The Exorcist, um, Nightmare on Elm Street. I'd love to get all that stuff again. Uh, and hopefully I can. Um, let's see, uh, what is the worst horror film you've seen and why? Uh, I don't know, um, I think, you know, I, I, I honestly, there's some really bad, bad ones, um, and I'm trying to think, there was this movie, I, and again, it was supposed to kind of be like horror-ish, but I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, um, it's called Bad Taste, and, and that was just really bad. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. It was really bad. Um, it just was weird and bad. Um, let's see here. What is the sickest horror film you've seen? Um, I guess I that I guess what you know, the sickest I guess you could call them maybe goriest or something like that um I, I'd have to put the Saul movies in that um self uh mutilation is sick <laughs> and I don't think I could ever do it uh, so I'd probably have to put that in the sickest uh, horror films that I've seen um what horror film besides your favorite would you recommend to your viewers one of the ones, more recent ones I've saw, um, Trick or Treat. Um, that's probably one I would recommend to everybody. It's not your normal slasher. It's not your normal paranormal or any genre. It's, it's like a Halloween uh, type uh, horror movie, but I, I really freaking enjoyed it. Uh, so if you haven't seen it, that's my suggestion to you is definitely check it out. Um... Let's see here. What do you think of remakes of the old classics like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Dawn of the Dead type movies? Uh, they're great only if they do them right. Um, there's been some really horrible ones and there's been some really freaking awesome ones. Um, I wasn't a fan of the new Nightmare. It was okay, but I expected more. Um... Now, I will tell you, Rob Zombie's The Halloween, the first one he redid, was just stunning and blew me away. So, I mean, there's 
it can go both ways. Um, you can make make it freaking fabulous, or you can just junk it up. Um, it's always a touch and go with that. Um, and it also depends on the person. Um, remakes um, are taken differently from each person's point of view. Um, just because I didn't like New Nightmare, there might be some people out there that actually loved it. And so it's kind of hard. Um, I, I, I do like them um, because I think it keeps the older ones that we grew up on. Um, and they, they actually introduce it to the new generation, like my kids and stuff. So, um, yeah, I, I do like them, um, but I just wish they would do them correctly and do them well. Um, and then if you can pick a horror movie to watch in a cinema, which movie would that be? You know what? I would probably go with Critters on this one. I never saw it in the movie theaters, uh, and I think seeing it maybe on a freaking high def movie theater would just be the greatest thing. Um, I like Critters. I got my little critter up there. This is one of my favorites. Um, just because it was weird and little critters rolling around. And I, they're freaking, I think I've more laughed in that movie than I was scared in it, but I think it was just great, great. It was done well, and who doesn't like critters, man? You know, come on. They're critters. But that was my horror tag. Um, I know I'm not the greatest of horror guys, so please don't bash this. <laughs> but I am going to tag a few people that I know do love horror and maybe can do this a little bit better. So I'm going to tag Todd All Things Horror. I think he'd be fabulous for this. Um, I'll also tag uh, Horror Man Cave. And let's see, who else can we do? I'm going to do Marty and Alicia because, hey, you guys know a lot uh, about horror uh, and you guys are kind of in the horror genre, genre thing uh, over at uh, Heisenerd and uh, let's see what your answers are. I'll leave the questions down below as well so you guys can, if you didn't get tagged and you want to do this, by all means do so, especially if you know about horror because I'm not the best one to ask. But um, Thank you, Dennis. I appreciate it. You're an awesome guy. Check him out. His vlogs are freaking awesome. His reviews are awesome. And he goes over some movies I've never heard of. So, which are really great because then I get to check them out. So, definitely check him out. Again, thanks, Dennis. I appreciate it. And see you guys later. Have a good one.